Let's balance the net ionic equation for COBr3 plus K2S. This is cobalt-3 bromide and potassium sulfide. First thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation up here. I can see that I have one cobalt here and two here. I'm going to put a two in front of the cobalt-3 bromide. Now I have six bromines. Got to put a six over here. Balances the bromines, six potassiums. Put a three here. Now we have six potassiums three sulfurs, three sulfurs, we're done. That's the balanced molecular equation. Now we need to write the states, and that'll look like this. So compounds with bromine in them in general, they're soluble, it's right, aqueous. Compounds with potassium in general, they are soluble. But this cobalt sulfide here, general sulfides are insoluble. So this is a solid, it's a precipitate in this reaction, it falls to the bottom of the test tube. So those are the states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions for the complete ionic equation. And that looks like this. Note that we didn't split the solid, this cobalt-3 sulfide apart in our net ionic equation. Since it's together in the bottom of the test tube after the reaction, we don't split that apart in our equation. Everything else we split apart. So this is our complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides. So in the top here, the reactants, I can see I have six bromide ions. I also have those in the products, spectator ions. We cross them out. Six potassium ions, again in the products. Six potassium ions, cross them out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for COBr3 plus K2S. I'll clean this up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for cobalt-3 bromide plus potassium sulfide. Note that the charges are balanced. 2 times 3 plus, that gives us a 6 plus. 3 times the 2 minus, that gives us a 6 minus. That adds up to 0. Reactants, net charge of 0. And the products, this cobalt-3 sulfide, that is a neutral compound, so net charge of 0. Charge is balanced. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced too. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for cobalt-3 bromide plus potassium sulfide. Thanks for watching.